What's up YouTube, Kenny here, and today we're going to be talking about all of the essential plugins that you need to run a successful server. Now we're going to be going over a lot of stuff today. It's not going to be more of an in-depth tutorial, it's going to be more of a broad, giving you an idea of all the plugins you can use. Of course there's tons more out there, and a lot of other options, but these are what I would personally recommend, and there's a number of regions, a lot of the times it's customization, how much more options they have over other uh, plugins but to start on your screen you can see we have already gone over a number of these plugins in the past so I'd recommend that you check out all of those because they may or may not be involved in this tutorial so just make sure you know how to use all those plugins if you don't go to click on any of those links and that'll help you out immediately so the, the, what this tutorial is basically going to be doing is going to be telling you the pros and cons of each of these plugins that I recommend. So the first plugin that I'd recommend is HeroChat. Now, why do I recommend this plugin over the other ones? Well, if you compare it to Essentials Chat Manager, Essentials is very basic and offers hardly any customization options at all. Now, there's a few other ones. Of course, this MChat, which is uh, a lot of people like that one, but that one's pretty basic. This one just offers a much higher customization level and its channel's chat system just takes it to the next level as far as the whole in-game chat that we have currently. Now, what this is really great for is any large server that you're trying to control the chat. Like it could be a very, very busy chat and it's impossible to read anything. Now this channel chat system is great for that and provides a number of pluses as far as that goes. Now there is an, a, a few cons to this plugin and that has to do some with permissions is because it's not too easy. It does make it a little bit harder than you'd think, but it is very logical the way they do it and it would be the best way that they have it for them that they have it set up but it does take it to a, a little bit higher of a level as far as permissions goes no cheap plus is probably one of the most vital plugins in running a server now what this plugin does is basically prevents all of those nasty mods that people use all the time to try and fly to try and spam so on and so forth now this plugin blocks them and can do a number of things when a person does such an act and basically this plugin includes some of the other plugins which are out of date such as no ponage and no cheat now this plugin offers a number of ways of punishing people when they do something like you can send them to jail you can hurt them you can take away some of their food you can do a whole bunch of other things now one of the things I do like about this plugin is its way of monitoring it. There's a permission node that it'll send in the chat every single time it thinks a player is getting to a certain violation level or violating a certain policy, like as in flying, it will send you a, a notice if you have this permission node saying that this player is trying to do this. That's great. But there are a few cons to this plugin and one of those is its massiveness. It's just got a number of things that it blocks. And of course, because of all those, every single one of those has its own options. So there's just so much that you need to customize to fit your server, depending on what you want. Especially if you have it, your own plugin for flying or something, because this plugin will pick that up and it will pre prevent it. So. Here's some more permission, a little bit higher advanced permissions. Now, another thing this plugin does not cover is the X-Ray mod. The X-Ray mod, that's a completely different plugin. And actually, I'm not going to be going over that plugin in this video. Why? Well, because it uses a massive amount of RAM and CPU when blocking the X the people using x-ray mod if you guys are interested in what this plugin is called it's called orb fuse skater and you guys can go ahead and check it out it will also be in the description along with all these other plugins that i do discuss in this video guardian is another great plugin for server management basically what this plugin does is it's a block rollback plugin so let's say you have some massive griefing griefing on your server basically you can just click a block find out who did it and roll back all of their actions over a certain amount of time 
or roll, up, roll back all of their actions, period. Now, this may seem great, but there's quite a bit of setup going into this involving MySQL databases and setting all of that up. Now, there is a number of problems with this plugin. Right now, another plugin out there is Hawkeye. Now, Hawkeye is not updated, but it will work with the latest release of, of Craft Bucket. So, there's a little bit of changing there. So, as soon as uh, Bucket updates to probably 1.3, Hawkeye won't work anymore. So, that's the thing. Um, also, Guardian does not support World Edit yet. As of right now, it doesn't. So, World Edit, you'll kind of be on your own there and you won't be able to roll back that. One other drawback to this plugin is its lack of commands. Now, not, maybe lack isn't exactly the best word for this here, but um, it's more of like flawed or bugged commands because some of them feel like they don't exactly work how they should. Now, this is a minor problem and hopefully they will have this fixed in future updates, but overall, this is a great plugin for server management and stopping those griefers. LWC is another plugin that I strongly recommend. Now, why would I recommend this over the n so many vast other ones that are out there? Well, because it offers so much more than almost all of them out there. Now, what exactly does it do? Basically, anything that opens or you can be able to right click and have access to, it can, has the ability to lock this to make it private to you or allow access to that other people can use it too. Now you can create private, password, or public chess. With any of these, you can tell someone your password. With the private, you can add multiple users to the chess so multiple people can use it. It's not only private to you. So as long as I've been using this plugin, and mind you, that's been a pretty dang long time, I haven't found hardly any flaws with this. I mean, it can hook into almost all of the like towny and factions. It hooks into those and works great with those. Report RTS is basically a real-time ticket system for your server. Now, what that means is people are able to do a command and that sends a ticket in to the whole system. Now, you can configure who receives these tickets so that who's able to respond to them, such as you, only your mods, admins, and up. So, what does this mean? Basically, when they send a ticket, they could send in a ticket ac asking for, like, can you please come over here and protect my stuff? Or, hey, I found some griefing over here. You should probably try and fix it. Now, what you can do is teleport to the ID and fix it or set their protection for them. And then as soon as it's done with, you're done for their request, you can finish the ticket and get rid of it great plugin for server management one flaw to this plugin so far is its development stage it is in the beta stage right now so it is not in the release stage but it seems to be kept up to date and it seems to be constantly having updates so that seems to be pretty good vanish no packet is the higher end vanish plugin now there's another one called simply vanish and it's a lot simpler than this one now what vanish no packet does is it basically vanishes you from player's site. So you can do a command and then you're completely vanished. Now, it's not going to vanish like if you hit F5 and switch views, you're not vanished on your screen. It just hides it so you aren't able to be seen by other players. Now, this can be used for good or bad. However you use it, it's really great on like catching people who griefing, catching people who cheating, catching people with x-ray great for all of that so as far as this goes another wonderful plugin for your server now vault isn't exactly a plugin to go over it's basically a library for other plugins to hook into to link to each other now i just recommend having this plugin in general because so many other plugins use this so just go ahead and add it to your server it's not gonna affect it in any way so auto announcer this is a good plugin if you want to be able to tell people about certain things going on. Announce an event, tell them about something new that you just released on your server. Now, the reason why I actually do like this one a lot is because you're able to customize the tag when the server announces it. Now, a lot of plugins 
force you to have their own tag. This one you can customize it. Now I know that there is uh, quite a bit of other options for this and basically the only reason that I, I use this one is customization for the tag and I'm sure there's another one out there but uh, this is just the one that I have been using lately. Now the final plugin, yeah the final plugin that I would recommend in server management is auto save world. Now you may be like, well this doesn't really seem like server management to me. Well it actually is because technically your server could crash at any time and when it crashes it doesn't save the world. So what this plugin does is you can set it to an interval of like every five minutes to save it so that hopefully if your server does crash the players won't lose their items or as much as their items they'll only lose what they acquired between every five minutes of that save this is a great plugin it also has a number of extra features such as backups and so on and so forth another thing that i really do like about this is the huge amount of customization that you can do now as you've probably noticed there's a little trend here all of the plugins that i've been recommending all seem to have a lot of customization that is really how I pick out my plugins and that's how I suggest you guys pick out plugins when you run your server. I don't recommend just going to Bucket Dev, get plugins, and then just looking through them. You gotta really test them out, make sure you understand them all before you incorporate them into your server, hopefully preventing or increasing more people to come to it and overall helping you have a better server. Now, if you guys wanna come by, come by my server, talk about some server stuff, I don't know, you guys can go ahead and visit us at our server. The IP is on the screen or in the description. If you guys just wanna talk, hang out, play on the server, it's great. If you guys wanna see how what the plugins do, you can go ahead and check them out on my server. All of them are running on it too, because I do recommend them, of course. And there's an auto announcer right there. So, hope, you, hope to see you guys there, and I'm Kenny, I'll see you guys next time.